The former senior British MP Kate Hoey says she wished Zimbabwe had a president of a high caliber like the recently elected Zambian leader Hakane Hichilema. Hoey's statement seemed to pour cold water on President Emerson Nangagwa and his administration's claims that diplomatic relations between the United Kingdom and Zimbabwe are on the mend, breaking a two-decade deadlock. Last week, Nangagwa attended the United Nations UN, Climate Change Conference in Glasgow, Scotland, where he had brief interactions with UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson. So, the RT Hon. Prime Minister Johnson did not only extend his hand to me, he also grinned and grinned, that's when I also extended my hand to him, you saw how it started. We became friendly to each other. Boris Johnson will send his minister, Nangagwa told ZANU-PF supporters at the Robert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport on his arrival from the UK last Thursday. However, Hoey seems not to be appreciating Nangagwa's re-engagement efforts and how he is managing Zimbabwe's affairs, with the political and economic situation in the country deteriorating. She also accused Nangagwa of not respecting the rule of law, not taking action against a rise in corruption, especially in government ministries and departments, while he continued attacking opposition leader Nelson Chamisa. If only Zimbabwe had a leader like Hakane Hichilema. Instead, they have Emerson Dambudzo Nangagwa, who has ignored the rule of law, allowed corruption to flourish, used COVID-19 as an excuse to stop by elections and encouraged attacks on Nelson Chamisa and the MDC alliance, she said. Dot Hoey is a former MP for Vauxhall from 1989 to 2019 and is now Baroness Hoey of Lyle Hill and Rathlin. Last September, she was appointed Johnson's trade envoy to Ghana. SHE made the comparisons between Hichilema and Angagwa Saturday after Zambia's president had met UK business and opinion leaders at the Chatham House in the UK, where he made a commitment to the Southern African nation's economic recovery. However, Hoey's statements on Nangagwa were not well received by ZANU-PF officials and supporters with the party's information director Tafadzwa Magwati labeling her rubbish. Rubbish is your name, madam, Magwati hit back on Hoey. Dot a keen follower of the economic and political situation in Zimbabwe, Hoey has on several occasions traveled undercover to the country, which she said would remain a matter of interest for her. However, the Zimbabwe government has maintained her views cannot be considered objective.